Welcome to regulated requirement for medical devices including in vitro diagnostics in India version 2. Lecture 1 that is medical devices and in vitro diagnostics introduction and types of the devices including combination devices. Learning objective of this presentation be aware what is the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics. The expected outcome of this lecture we will be able to know what is a medical devices, what is a in vitro diagnostics, what is the difference between drugs and devices, what are the notified medical devices and notified in vitro diagnostics, what are the regulatory requirement for medical devices and in vitro diagnostics in India. The target audience, the personnel working in the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics industry, startup, innovators, academicians, researchers, regulatory affairs personnel, ethics committee members, clinical trial team members, students and the persons generally interested in the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics. What we will learn in this lecture? We will learn what is a medical devices, what are the various types of the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics, what is the current regulation on medical devices in India, what are the challenges in the medical device sectors whether all the medical devices are regulated, all those topic we will discuss in this lecture. Now come to the first lecture that what is the medical devices, is it regulated? So what is the definition of the medical devices? If you see the medical devices, in general we can say anything used for diagnostic or therapeutic purpose in human being which is not a drug. Simple word we can say it is not a drug but it is used for the purpose of therapeutic or diagnostics in human being or animals. It means it is not dependent on the Re, um, dependent upon being metabolized or achievement of any of its primary intended purpose through immunological or pharmacological. The intended primary mode of action of the medical devices on human body in contrast with the drug items or medicinal products is not metabolic not immunological or pharmacological. This is general definition of the medical devices and the medical device includes everything which is not a drug and it is used for the diagnostic or therapeutic purpose. It varies from highly sophisticated computerized medical equipment like MRI machines or the simple medical devices that is tongue depressor, the very vast range of the medical devices. Other examples of this medical devices if you see various medical devices that is being used in the diagnosis or therapeutic purpose for human being that are the orthopedic implants. Other examples are pacemakers, cochlear implant, catheters and various diagnostic kits, in vitro diagnostic kits. These are generally referred as medical devices and diagnostics. Now if you see the definition, official definition of the medical devices, let us see we can take the definition of the European Union. What is the medical device definition? 
the medical de device as per the definition of the medical devices it is a instrument operators software implant reagent material or other article intended by the manufacturer to be used alone or in combination for human being for one or more of the certain medical purposes very big definition is there we can discuss one by one this is the first part of the definition which is state that it is a instrument operator software implant reagent materials or other article intended by the manufacturer to be used alone or in combination for human being for one or more of the certain specific medical purposes now what are those purposes it is for the diagnosis prevention monitoring treatment or alleviation of disease this is the first purpose other purpose of this products it is for the diagnosis monitoring treatment alleviation or compensation for an injury or disability other purpose it is for the purpose of investigation replacement or modification of the anatomy or of a physiological or pathological state next purpose is of this products it provides information by means of in vitro examination of the specimen derived from the human body including organ blood or tissues etc it is for the purpose of in vitro examination and it is for the purpose of control of conception it is for the purpose of cleaning or disinfection of medical devices or medical equipments so these are the purposes of the medical devices and it does not achieve its primary intended action by pharmacological immunological metabolic means in or on the human body but which may be assisted in its intended functions by such means this is the definition as per the european union regulation this is the eu definition so if you see the definitions and you can summarize this definition in such a way it is a product for human use which has a medical purposes and which act on the disease injuries or disability or anatomy or physiological or pathological state or providing information by means of in vitro examination but it should not be a drug it is also intended for the purpose of control of conception or cleaning or disinfection of the medical devices and equipments so this is the official definitions of the medical devices though in india as per our the present law we don't have such detailed definition for the medical devices in the in our law if you see the indian regulation with respect to the medical devices in india medical devices are regulated as a drug this sector is a small sector as compared to the pharmaceutical or medicinal products this sector mainly depends on the import more than 75% of the material or or the, or the devices are being imported into the country the factor which affect this industry are various factors certain that factors that is lack of proper regulatory system harmonized standards 
accreditations, proper guidance, all those factors are there earlier. So, because of this, the industry the has not achieved what the uh, other sectors are achieved. But this industry is growing at the rate of 50 percent that is very good potential in this industry. Uh, since it is regulated as a drug as per the Medic uh, Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940 which is the law of the country. So, there is a lot of challenges there was lot of challenges with respect to regulatory requirement for the medical devices in the country. So, these challenges that the stakeholders they what they are faced in the various forum they have discussed these issues and the finally, the government of India Ministry of Health and Family Welfare they have come up with the new regulation and this new regulation was come into effect from January 2018 and that is called as medical device rule 2017. This is the actually requirement for the medical devices in India. In this medical device rule 2017, the specific requirement for import, manufacture, clinical investigation, sale and distribution of the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics products have been clearly defined based on the complexity complexity of the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics the requirement has been let down which is at par with the globally accepted requirement so in the medical device rule 2017 the requirement for import manufacture clinical investigation sale and distribution of this medical devices and in vitro diagnostic have clearly defined however still in this rule there is a certain limitations under this rule, it is there only notified medical devices are regulated. Not all the type of medical devices are presently under regulation. And also the separate definition for the medical devices at par with the globally accepted definition is not included so far in this medical device rule 2017. But the requirements and provisions are harmonized internationally at par with the globally accepted regulatory requirement. We will discuss this uh, new medic, uh, medical device rule 2017 in subsequent slides. Before that, just we have to see what is required for the medical devices. We know that medical device is a specialized product it is different from the drugs. It is very complex product. It varies from simple product to highly sophisticated high end medical equipments. It is used by everyone So, this medical device sector they require independent identity from the drugs. Why it is different from the ducts as already we have discussed in the definition. There are other parameter also if you see the difference between drugs and devices. There are lot of difference the uses if you see the uses the drugs are in vivo use. However, the devices it is used in vivo or ex vivo or in vitro also. The active component of the drugs is based on the chemistry and pharmacology. In the medical devices, it is based on the mechanical, electrical and material engineering. Intended purpose of the drugs, it is for the therapeutic intended purpose. The devices it is both for therapeutic as well as diagnostic purpose. 
the quality of the ducts it depends on the safety and efficacy of the ducts whereas for the medical devices and unit to diagnostics it is main on the performance performance evolution of the devices if we see the requirement of the clinical trial in the drugs there is a phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 trial however in the medical devices it is not like drugs it is a clinical evaluation clinical investigation or clinical performance the manufacturing requirement if you see the drugs for manufacturing of drug the requirement of the good manufacturing practices are there however in the medical devices and metro diagnostics the requirement of quality management system for manufacturing and marketing of the medical devices and unit to diagnostics if you see the toxicity profile or toxicity evaluation for drug local and systematic toxicity is to be carried out whereas in the diagnostics the biocompatibility biological evaluation of the devices or the biomaterial used in the particular medical devices that need to be evaluated in the drugs the adverse events are due to the drug interaction however mostly in the medical devices these adverse events are due to malfunctioning of the medical devices or in proper use of the medical devices so these are the basic difference between drugs and devices and thus this sector require different identity from the drugs now what is the medical device regulation if you see the regulation in the previous slides we have discussed the regulation what is the new regulation but actual regulation if you see the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics these are regulated as a drug as we have already discussed and the law under which this devices and in vitro diagnostics are regulated are drugs and cosmetic act 1940 earlier the rules that is the drugs and cosmetic rules 1945 was there however this rule has been replaced with the new regulation that is medical device rule 2017 which is the new regulation and this objective of this law this act that is the drugs and cosmetic act is to regulate import manufacture sale and distribution of the drugs and cosmetics and under the definition of the drugs since medical devices is included therefore the import manufacture sale and distribution of the medical devices also are regulated under the drugs and cosmetic act 1940 why this new require requirement of the medical device rule 2017 we have discussed ki since in the drugs and cosmetic rules 1945 there is a no specific requirement for the medical devices whatever the requirements are prescribed that is applicable only for the drugs and biological products so since there is a no specific requirement for the import manufacture or clinical investigation of the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics therefore the requirement of the new regulation was there and this new regulation has been framed and prepared and published in the year uh, in the year 2017 and effective date for this new regulation was uh, 1st january 2018 and this new regulation is presently implementing for the regulation of the medical devices and in vitro diagnostic in the country if you see the definition of the medical devices under the definition prescribed in the drugs and cosmetic act we have discussed internationally what is the medical device definition if you see if you compare the definition with our device definition which is prescribed in the drugs and cosmetic act 1940 the drug definition is defined in the section 3b of the act and this section have four different part and the devices are 
covered under this definition. If you see the part 1 of the drug definition, which includes all substances intended to be used for or in the diagnosis of disease or disorder in the human being or animals. So, under this clause, all the in vitro diagnostics, all the surgical products are covered that is all the surgical products and in vitro diagnostics kits are covered under this, def, uh, this uh, part of the uh, definition. The part 2 of the drug definition under section 3 b which states the substances which affect the structure or any function of the human body as may be specified from time to time by the central government through notification in the official gadget. Under this clause only two categories of the devices have been notified so far and these are the mechanical contraceptives and disinfectants. So, these two categories of the medical devices are regulated under this clause of the drug definitions and if you see the fourth clause of the definition of the drugs under section 3 b which states that any devices intended for internal or external use in the diagnosis, prevention, treatment, mitigations of disease or disorder in human being or animals as may be notified by the central government through gadget notification from time to time after consultation with the board. Board here board means drug technical advisory board. This is the statutory board. This, this board recommend based on the criticality of the medical devices from time to time they have discussed the expert of this board they have discussed in many times and certain medical devices from time to time based on the need they are notifying they are recommending and the based on the recommendation of the board the ministry of health and family welfare government of india they are publishing the notification for regulation of the new category of the medical devices so these three clauses of the drug definition covers all the devices all the in vitro diagnostics and the certain medical devices which are notified only those devices and in vitro diagnostics are present in the regulation if you see the history perspective of the medical devices under the drugs and cosmetic act in 1940 and medical and uh, drugs and cosmetic rules 1945 the first notification of the medical devices certain medical devices was done in the year 1989 and in the year 1989 the three different categories of the medical devices have been notified under the class 4 of the drug definition and these those three devices are hypodermic needle, hypodermic syringes and perfusion sets. And before that before this notification of these three medical devices certain the devices like contraceptives, surgical dressings and in vitro diagnostic kits only those products are regulated under the drugs and cosmetic act 1945. So, medical devices three medical devices were notified in the year 1989 and since then only uh, till the 2002 only three devices have been notified and regulated as a medical devices. Thereafter after long time in the year nine, in 2002 in 2002 the four categories of the in vitro diagnostic kits that is in vitro diagnostic kits for HIV, in vitro diagnostic kits for hepatitis B surface antigen 
hepatitis C and blood grouping sera. These four types of the in vitro diagnostic kits and devices have been notified. And thereafter in the year 2005, 10 other category of the medical devices were notified and regulated. So, if you see the present regulation, the 16 notified devices so far have been notified under the class 4 of the section 3b of the drug definition and these 16 notified medical devices are regulated presently and these are the if you see the what are the 16 medical devices that is the disposable hypodermic syringes, disposable hypodermic needles, disposable perfusion sets, HIV kits for HIV, HCV, HBSAG and blood grouping sera. Then cardiac stents, drug loading stent, catheters, intraocular lenses, bone cements, heart walls, scalp pen sets, orthopedic implants, internal prosthetic replacement, ablation catheter which was notified in the year 2016 and in 2018 the organ preservative solutions also notified as a devices. So, these 16 categories of the medical devices are under regulations presently. Further, in the recent past in the year 2018, December 2018, four different categories of the medical devices that is the medical equipments that four e medical equipments have been notified for regulations and in the month of February 2019, eight new categories of the medical devices are also notified and the implementation date of these new categories of the medical device devices will be the January 2020. So, certain time period has been given to the stakeholders for implementation of regulation of this new categories of the medical devices. Now, who uses the medical devices? If you see the uses of the medical devices, it is used by everyone, we be aware of that. The use can be temporary, the use may be permanent. It is used by the professional or the used by the person without any supervision. Example, if you see the example of the temporary use medical devices, the cervical collars, walking sticks, when it is used during the injury, it is a medical devices, it is a simple devices, it is for temporary, temporary use. Permanent devices, cardiac stents, orthopedic implants heart walls, there are so many implantable devices which is used permanently. Professional use devices, certain devices that is used only by the professional like blood assay monitor or uh, MRI machines and also some devices which is used by the person without any supervision like walking sticks. So, this is the complexity of the medical devices. It is very simple to high risk and high end medical equipments. It varies from simple devices to complex devices. Now, let us see we have discussed the definition of the medical devices under the provisions of Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940 and we also understand ki we also understand that the under the definition of the drugs, the class 
थ्री बी पार्ट वन पार्ट टू एंड पार्ट फोर दैट रिलेट्स टू द मेडिकल डिवाइसेज एंड इनविटो डायग्नोस्टिक्स सो अंडर दिस क्लॉज वॉट आर द डिवाइसेज विच आर कवर्ड इफ यू सी पार्ट वन ऑफ द क्लास बी ऑफ द सेक्शन थ्री ऑफ द ड्रग्स एंड कॉस्मेटिक एक्ट द सब्सटेंस इज यूज फॉर द मिट्टो डायग्नोस्टिक्स एंड सर्जिक पर्पस एंड सर्जिकल ड्रेसिंग्स सर्जिकल ड्रेसिंग्स लाइक सर्जिकल बैंडेजेस सर्जिकल स्टेपलेट्स सर्जिकल सूचर्स लिगेचर्स ब्लड एंड ब्लड कंपोनेंट कलेक्शन बैग विद और विदाउट एंटीकॉगलेंट्स दीज आर द डिवाइसेज एंड इनविटो डायग्नोस्टिक्स कवर्ड अंडर द पार्ट वन ऑफ द सेक्शन थ्री बी ऑफ द ड्रग डेफिनेशन पार्ट टू वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द पार्ट टू ऑफ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द ड्रग्स विच कवर्स द कंडोम मैकेनिकल कंट्रासेप्टिव अदर कंट्रासेप्टिव और इंट्रो इंट्रा यूटेन डिवाइसिस ट्यूबल रिंग्स एंड द डिस इनफेक्टेंट सोल्यूशन एंड एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अंडर पार्ट फोर ऑफ द ड्रग डेफिनेशन द डिवाइसिस इंटेंडेड फॉर द इंटरनल और एक्सटर्नल यूज इन द डायग्नोसिस प्रिवेंशन मिटिगेशन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ डिजीज और डिसऑर्डर इन एनिमल्स और ह्यूमन बींग्स एज मे बी नोटिफाइड फ्रॉम द टाइम टू टाइम बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया अंडर दिस क्लॉज वेरियस नोटिफाइड कैटेगरीज ऑफ द मेडिकल डिवाइसिस हैव बीन रेगुलेटेड एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस वॉट आर द नोटिफाइड मेडिकल डिवाइसिस टोटल ट्वेंटी एट मेडिकल डिवाइसिस हैव बीन नोटिफाइड अंडर दिस क्लॉस एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस नोटिफाइड मेडिकल डिवाइसिस आर इनविट्रो डायग्नोस्टिक डिवाइसिस फॉर द एच आई वी एस सी वी एंड एच बी एस ए जी हार्ट वॉल्स स्कल्प एंड सेट आई वी कैनोला आर्थोपेडिक इम्प्लांट्स पोस्टेटिक रिप्लेसमेंट्स दीज आर द डिवाइसिस विच आर नोटिफाइड अंडर दिस क्लॉस एंड रेगुलेटेड इफ यू सी द इनविटो डायग्नोस्टिक्स प्रोडक्ट्स ऑल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस दैट द सब्सटेंसिस दैट इज इंटेंडेड to be used for diagnosis of disease or disorder in human being or animals and this uh, this uh, in vitro diagnostics are covered under sub class 1 sub uh, of class b of the section 3b as we have discussed earlier now let us see whether you have understand or not whether this devices are regulated or not you have to just confirm the devices which is showing on the presentation whether it is regulated yeah it is regulated it is a disposable hypodermic needles which is a notified medical devices now this is disposable hypodermic syringes it is also regulated now this this one is cardiac stent which is also notified and regulated and this is the last one it is a drug loading stent and this drug loading stent is also notified and it is under regulation so these are the various types of the various categories of the medical devices which are regulated under the provisions of drugs and cosmetic act 1940 however only the uh, certain medical devices it is not that ki all the medical devices are un presently under regulation if you see the in vitro diagnostic kits though in vitro diagnostic kits are regulated all the in vitro diagnostic kits however the equipments for diagnostic equipments presently it is not regulated though the government of india has notified certain uh, equipment diagnostic equipment like blood glucose meter they but the regulation will be effective only from the january 2020 now what is non notified in vitro diagnostic products we have discussed 
devices which are under regulations and also we have understand ki all the in vitro diagnostic devices and diagnostic kits are under regulations and out, out of all the in vitro diagnostics only certain devices which has been notified under part 4 of the drug definition under the sub, uh, under class 3b and under this class only the four types of in vitro diagnostic that it in hiv hbsag kits scv kits and blood grouping sera only these are the notified so these four categories of the in vitro diagnostic kits is consider as a notified in vitro diagnostic kits as far as drug and cosmetic act is concerned and other than these four notified in vitro diagnostics all the in vitro diagnostic kits reagent kits and the products are considered as a non notified in vitro diagnostic products though it is a regulated but it is considered we can say it is a non notified in vitro diagnostic products and the example you 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 just see except this four notified in vitro diagnostic kits all in vitro diagno diagnostic kits that is uh, blood glucose test strips pregnancy test strips urine analysis test kit like that there are so many in vitro diagnostic region kits are there all these kits are regulated and uh, it is also considered as a non notified in vitro diagnostics now also for uh, the in vitro diagnostic kits you you have to see whether these products which is showing on the presentation is regulated or not yeah it is a what is this devices this is the in vitro diagnostic kits Th this kits is known as blood grouping reagents and it is regulated now the another one that is the ointment it is a drug so it is not a in vitro diagnostic kits it is not a medical devices it is a drug now the last one that is in vitro diagnostic kits for hiv and as already we have discussed this is notified in vitro diagnostic kits and it is regulated so these are the different categories of the in vitro diagnostic kits which are under regulation under which class of the drug definition it is regulated we have discussed in detail and also we have discussed the current regulation the currently the medical device rule 2017 which was published on 31st january 2017 through the gadget notification that is known as gsr 78e and this gadget notification which uh, which is called as a medical device rule 2017 which come into force from the january 2018 in the new regulations we have all also discussed ki in this new regulations the specific requirement of import manufacture clinical investigation and sale and distribution of the medical devices and in vitro diagnostic kits have been prescribed which is at par with the globally accepted uh, requirements regulatory requirements so we'll discuss that medical device rule 2017 in subsequent lecture but in short we we have to understand what are the key changes uh, incorporated in this medical device rule 2017 if you see this medical device rule 2017 the key changes in this medical device rule various definitions related to medical devices and in vitro diagnostic diagnostic kits have been prescribed which was which were not in the earlier regulation in the medical device rule the provision of the scope of the notified medical notified med, uh, notified body for Con, uh, audit of the qms audit of the class a and class b devices that has been prescribed 
in the medical device rule 2017 the risk based classification of the medical devices and in vitro diagnostics have been incorporated the standards of the medical devices the requirement of the essential principle for safety and performance of the medical devices the provision for the grouping of the medical devices provision for clinical investigation of the medical devices provision for quality management system the provision for medical device testing center this is specific provision that has been incorporated and these are the key changes we will discuss all those key changes in the subsequent lecture if you see the classification of the medical devices globally how these medical devices and in vitro diagnostics have been classified it is based on the risk criteria and in the medical device rule 2017 also the same criteria has been adopted provision have been made risk criteria has been defined and based on the risk criteria from the low risk to high risk if the low risk devices is classified then it is classified as a class a and the high risk medical devices or in vitro diagnostic kits will be classified as a class d devices and low to moderate and moderate to high low to moderate is classified as a class b moderate to high is classified as a class b devices and the criteria and parameter is already clearly mentioned on the medical device rule 2017 and the responsibility for classification is lies with the central licensing authority that is drugs controller general india who is the central licensing authority also heading the central drug standard control organization that is the central government bodies for regulation of the medical device 2017 and based on the criteria laid down in the mdr rule 2017 the central licensing authority has classified the devices and in vitro diagnostics and these classification list has been uploaded in the website for the stakeholder which includes the manufacturers or importers and based on the classification the stakeholder will fulfill the requirement as prescribed in the medical device rule 2017 this classification list it is a dynamic classification list if certain devices or in vitro diagnostic kits is classified in particular class the classification of that particular medical devices or in vitro diagnostics will varies based on the evidence or document produced to the central licensing authority and it may change from low risk to high risk or high risk to low risk, risk based on the evidence or the documentary evidence of the particular devices the components and accessories of the medical devices also classified under this categories now categories of the medical devices we have discussed medical devices what is the in vitro diagnostic kits what is the global definition of the medical devices what is the definition of the devices under the drugs and cosmetic act 1940 the uh, classific uh, under the regula- medical device regulation medical device rule 2017 the different categories of the medical devices has been notified and regulated and the regulation and control applies to the devices which are under regulate uh, under regulation present presently under regulation and this different categories based on the um, notification of the government of india ministry of health and family welfare this different categories of the medical devices has been classified based on the risk associated with the devices or in vitro diagnostics as well as its intended use and under different categories of the notified medical devices various types of the medical devices 
have been classified and more than 300 different types of the in, in vitro diagnostic kits and uh, medical devices have been published and it is regulated and these uh, devices and in vitro diagnostics are regulated. Medical device classification we have also discussed the provision have already been made in the medical device rule 2017 under rule 4 which gives the power to the central licensing authority for notification of the medical uh, for uh, notification of the classification list for the stakeholders and the parameter for classification has been defined in the first schedule of the medical device rule 2017. The first schedule have two different part, part one wherein the criteria and parameter for the classification of the medical devices and part two of this schedule uh, includes the parameter and classification of the in vitro diagnostic kits. As already we have discussed the based on the risk of the classes, low risk devices will be classified as a class A, low to moderate will classified as class B, moderate to high risk will classify as class C and high risk medical devices will be classified as a class D devices. In the medical device rules though the definition of the medical device has been defined, but that definition is only with respect to the definitions of the drugs as defined in section 3b of drugs and cosmetic act 1940 so this medical device rules all the devices which are uh, notified and covered under the definition of the drugs are only regulated now come to types of the devices the devices we have discussed the category of the devices we have discussed the classification of the devices now various types of the devices the medical devices varies it is a very complex um, devices it uh, can be active or statics it varies statics devices these devices are the simplest devices with having few or no moving parts the example of these statics devices are cardiac stents other types of the devices active devices are more complex the active devices that operate through the applications of the human movement or effect of the gravity if you see the example of the active devices if you see the syringes syringes is powered by the force applied by the patient or the medical professionals while an IV dip it is powered by the gravity other devices can activated by the patient natural movement such as walking or the breathing these devices are categorized as as a passive devices other types of the devices that is known as active implantable medical devices these are the power devices these devices are inserted into the patient body through either a natural orifice or through surgical means and it, it is intended to remain in the patient body after the procedures. An example of this active implantable medical devices that is the pacemaker, other types of the devices, non-invasive medical devices that devices there is a no contact with the mucous membrane or the internal body cavity. The example of non-invasive devices are BP operators, CT scan, ECG machines, MRI machines. Another types of the medical devices, the combination medical devices wherein the devices that involves the medical devices with the drugs or with the biological or combine combination of the devices biologicals and drug materials. The example one of the simple example of this combination devices that is drug looting stent wherein the 
drug is coated on the surface of the cardiac piston made up of cobalt chromium stainless steel or titanium if you see the medical device rule 2017 the medical device rule 2017 we have also discussed that certain definitions related to the medical devices and in vitro diagnostic kits have been incorporated have been incorporated in the medical device rule 2017 so certain definitions of various types of the medical devices which we have discussed just now is also mentioned is also prescribed in the medical device rule 2017 if you see the active diagnostic medical devices that definition of this devices has been defined as per the medical device rule 2017 the active diagnostic medical devices mean any active medical devices used whether alone or in combination with other medical devices to supply information for detecting diagnosis or monitoring or to provide support in the treatment of any physiological conditions state of health illness or congenital deformity so this definition has been defined if you see the example of this active diagnostic medical devices hepatitis or iv iv test coagulation test active medical devices active medical devices as per the definition prescribed in the medical device rule 2017 it means medical devices the operation of which depends on the source of the electrical energy or any other source of the energy other than the energy generated by human or animal body or gravity the example cardiac pacemaker active therapeutic medical devices this definition is also included and the definition is prescribe that any active medical devices used whether alone or in combination with any other medical devices to support modify replace or restore biological functions or structure with a view to the treatment or alleviation of any illness injury or handicap active therapeutic medical devices if you see the examples the blood gas an analyzer invasive devices this definition is also defined in the medical device rule 2017 invasive devices means a devices which in whole or part penetrate inside the body either through the body orifice or through the surface of the body the example of this devices are suture surgical sutures hypodermic needles and syringes active implantable devices also defined in the medical device rule 2017 and the active medical devices which is intended to be totally or partially introduced surgically or medically into the human body or the animal body or by the medical intervention into the natural orifice and which is intended to remain after the procedures and the active implantable devices examples are defibrillators cardiac pacemakers so these definitions have already been defined in the medical device rule 2017 active medical devices also defined implantable medical devices it is also defined in the medical device rule 2000 17 so these are the various types of the medical devices which is defined in the medical device rule 2017 in this lecture we have covered the general definition of the medical devices we have covered what is the the devices regulated under the medical device rule 2017 drugs and cosmetic act 1940 what are the different types of the devices what are the devices which have been notified by the government of india for regulations why the requirement of the new regulation of medical device rule 2017 so we have the general idea about the regulations and we also understand what is the difference between drugs and diagnostics why this sector is required 
separate uh, identity other than the drugs we have discussed in details. Now, let us have some question answer session to know what you have understand. So, tell me whether the state which is mentioned here is correct or not. The devices pacemaker is the example of the active devices whether it is true or false can anybody tell it is a true ok. Now, which devices penetrating the human body surface are at higher risk the category of the devices can anybody tell that devices is known as invasive devices. Now, also another question under the medical device rule 2017 in the in India whether only the notified medical devices and in vitro diagnostics are regulated whether this statement is true or false. Yeah, only notified medical devices are regulated it is a true. So, with this question answer session we will conclude this lectures and we will discuss the details of other requirement of the medical device regulation in the subsequent lecture. Thank you very much.